Or he'd be an abortion doula, holding women's hands and offering support as they unalive their babies. This is from a, this is from behind the pulpit. They are connecting the unaliving of babies with Jesus. So what's known as the persecuted church, the church that is in the Middle East, churches that are known as the underground church, China, Asia, parts of the world where it's illegal to be a Christian. When those churches, when those believers look at us here in the West, look at the Western church, church of North America, they must simply just shake their head and, and, and wonder whether we are actually saved or not. With the kind of things that we've allowed into the doors of our churches, kind of doctrine and theology and practice and belief is would, would, would just be shocking to them. And again, I, I, I seriously believe that they look at, at our church, at our churches, and they look at our leaders, and they look at some of our major denominations, and they probably wonder, man, are these guys actually saved? Look at what they're doing. Look at what they're professing. Look at what they're allowing. And I've done a number of videos over the last few months around the same subject. And I just came across two more examples of what the Western church has embraced. And man, it, it's to me, I, the more I see these videos, you would think that we we would just become numb to it, but I'm not like I I I'm just I'm continuously shocked and stunned that the pulpit has turned into what it has turned into and what is being allowed and what is being said from behind the pulpit, the sacred pulpit of Christ's church. And I get churches are all different, different styles you know, different looks, different buildings. That's all fine and good. It's the content, though, that's coming from said churches. The preaching and the teaching, what's being pushed from the pulpit is just shocking and stunning. And no matter how many times I see it, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me. So let's just look at a couple clips here and, and then we'll chat. We're assembled here this evening as a queer people. I'm not talking about sexual orientation. Queer as in transgressive. Queer as in subversive of the tyranny of the normal. Queer as in resisting that the normative must mean everyone. We are a queer people here gathered Welcome, and I invite you, whatever language you give it, to take a moment and connect with that inner radiance on this solstice as we gather in this place as a queer people. And if you want, I invite you to make contact with your body and feel that queer illumination, the distinctiveness that is you merging with what is like I, that is one of the most creepiest things i've ever seen ever heard coming from from behind the pulpit like that that that's just if 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 that's not demonic like i don't know what demonic is like make contact with your body and feel that queer illumination this is coming from a church, from behind a pulpit. This is a preacher. This is a pastor. It's like, what? 
People are dying for their faith all over the world. And they look at that and are like, what is going on with these people? How, how, how is that? How has that made it into the church? Like, we've assembled this evening as a queer people. Not talking about sexual orientation. Queer as in transgressive. What does that even mean? Queer as in subversive of tyranny of the normal. It's like they've taken this, this cultural issue and they know that the Bible clearly speaks against it, but they've made it such a, its own entity. They, and they've made, they've made everything about it. It's, it's, it's so it's like, it, it is the church. It's, it's not just about, it's not just about sexual orientation. It's, it's about all of life. They've just twisted the entire Christian faith to be this weird, demonic counterfeit. I don't know, man. Like that's, that's super creepy, but churches in the the persecuted church sees that they're dying for their faith and this is what we got going on that's the first clip now this next clip speaks on another massive cultural issue check it out if jesus were here today he would be a clinic escort distracting women from the hatred of the protesters or an abortion doula holding women's hands and offering support and love as they end their pregnancies. And I expect he would have a stern word for self-righteous legislators who use abortion as a political issue rather than showing compassion for the people seeking abortions. If Jesus were here today, he would be a clinic escort distracting women from the hatred of protesters. So he would be escorting women if Jesus were here, he'd be escorting women into the places where the unaliving of babies occurs. Or he'd be an abortion doula, holding women's hands and offering support as they unalive their babies. This is from a, this is from behind the pulpit. They are connecting the unaliving of babies with Jesus and blending them together he, by, by, by saying he, he, he would be right beside the women holding their hands as they end their babies' lives. What? Like, it, I, no matter how many times I see videos like that, I, it's, 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 it's shocking. You know what? Because, like, if you want to, if you want to believe some whacked out stuff, Fine. You are free to believe whatever you want. But when you start putting my Jesus and connecting him to your demonic ideology, that's where something's got to be said. That's where it, this is blasphemy beyond description. Jesus came to die, sacrifice his life for everyone on the planet that they would come to know him, forgive their sins. He sacrificed his life so that everyone else could experience life. And now you are suggesting that the giver of life is going to sit beside and hold the hand of women who want to end their baby's lives. I, I just, it's, it's, it's just, it's demonic. And like, and this is the kind of stuff that's getting preached and taught from behind hundreds and hundreds of pulpits in the West. And it's just gaining more popularity. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And I, again, I just, I, I can't imagine what Christians who are dying for their faith, who are persecuted, who look at us in the West and they see this nonsense in the church from behind, not from politicians, not from celebrities, from behind the pulpits of our churches. And they see this nonsense happening. And I, 
They got to wonder, is anybody saved over there? Does anybody really know what it's like to have a relationship with Jesus? Does anyone actually know what their Bible says? Does anybody know how to stand up for truth? So, I mean, I, this is just, again, this is another example of how whacked out we've become here in the West. And I'm part of it. I'm part of the church in the West. Now, I don't, clearly, I'm in 100% disagreement of what we've just watched. And not every church is like that. But it's like, how is it growing more and more? And what is the rest of the church doing to speak out against that? That's why I'm making this video. My little channel here, trying to at least get some kind of truth out there. So if one person even sees this and goes to one of these churches and realizes, shoot, uh, maybe that's not biblical. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Am I, am I overreacting? Am I being ridiculous? Um, or the, the most common comment that I get, I'm just being judgy. I'm, I, I'm just judging people too much. Am, am I judging? Do I have the right to even say this stuff? Let me know down below what you think. I'll have yourself an awesome rest of your day or evening. And we'll see you in the next video. Much love. God bless.